Hey guys, I'm the Maha Mechanic and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your piston heads free of any carbon. These two you can see here are uh, nice and clean. So let's get into it. So as you can see here, I've already done this number one and number four piston. I uh, got those cleaned up and I just got the two and three to go. So right here you can see the nice shiny ones and the uh, carbon uh, buildup on all of these. So I'm going to show you how to get these off. And it's not too hard, it's just kind of tedious. Let's move these tubes and stuff out of the way. So um, I first start off by getting some WD-40. And just cleaning up all the gunk uh, that's in the cylinder. As you can see here, all like the loose debris um, and stuff. So I'm gonna use a microfiber. This is the one I've been using, um, just so that it doesn't leave any uh, remnants inside the cylinders. that just wipe it up so yeah that's where we are going to start now I bought some of these uh, plastic razor blades from uh, from Walmart they're like a total of two bucks dollar fifty whatnot a uh, pack of five, so, um, and I've also got some gasket remover. Uh, this will get up all, or get all of that uh, baked on carbon and break that up. So what you're gonna wanna do is take some, spray it on the cylinder, just like that. And then take a brush and brush it in. So I'm going to leave it just like that for now. And then you're going to wait. I wait usually around 10 to 15 minutes. Let that uh, soak in and uh, break up all that uh, carbon there. Let it do its thing. And yeah, come back. 10, 15 minutes later, then you're gonna use your uh, uh, plastic scraper. Uh, you wanna make sure it's plastic, so uh, plastic can't scratch metal. So the plastic one, well, make sure you don't damage your piston heads. Uh, so yeah, let that cook on there and then come back, scrape off all the stuff that you can while it's still soaked in and easy to get off. And then you will take your microfiber and then wipe it off. So let's wait about 15 minutes. So I just let it sit for around 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna take the scraper. Just go around and scrape all the surfaces that I can get to. It's like this. See all that concentrated carbon there. So, after you're done scraping, take a towel and wipe it up. like that as you can see a whole lot of carbon came off of that one so let's do the same thing for the other one now it's time for uh, round two so just like we did the first time 
Oh, that was a lot. So that'll probably go for both pistons. Let's transfer some. And now we wait another 15 minutes. Uh, I usually do this around maybe, on these ones, I, I didn't use a plastic scraper uh, until the end and I'm kind of almost out of this stuff. But I didn't use a plastic scraper and it took me a while. Uh, I was also waiting like five minutes uh, before coats and trial, trial and error told me that you want to leave it sit for a pretty long amount of time to let it soak in and kind of break up that uh, carbon. Uh, and then don't wipe it off first. Make sure you scrape it first because if you wipe it off first, you're going to be um, like un taking all that stuff out of it and leaving the like dry carbon on it. But if you scrape it while the carbon's still wet and like soaked with all this stuff, uh, it'll come up easier. So. Yeah, 15 more minutes. 15 minutes later. Scrape as much as you can off first. This one's actually going really nicely. There's a lot right here though. So that's just after two passes. I think I'll be able to do maybe two more and get it pretty, uh, uh, get it all off. So you're looking at about maybe two hours for two cylinders, or two hours to do uh, all of them if you spray them down at the same time. Uh, but that's gonna be hard to do unless you have all of them up. So two hours to get it all off. It's just time consuming, it's not very difficult, but yeah. I'm gonna jump to when I have all this uh, finished. I'm gonna do two more cycles and then cut back to that. So this is what it looks like after we've gotten a couple passes with I want to say probably like five passes, four or five passes with the gasket remover and stuff. They're looking nice. So yeah, that was how to uh, clean your pistons um, with some gasket remover and some plastic scrapers. Overall cost me probably around five bucks. Um, so yeah, now I'm filming this obviously after I've gotten all put back together. Uh, but if you want to see how this got from what, what you last saw it to here right now. Uh, click uh, those videos up there, or, uh, that playlist up there, and it'll show you everything I did to get it back to this state. So, uh, if you found this video informative, please be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more. And remember, no matter experience or your skill level, keep on improving.